guys, welcome back to my channel. Happy October. We're putting the Pore Perfecting Water Gel on by Tatcha first to moisturize. And then I'm going in with Benefits Cabral. I know I didn't show it. I could have sworn I did, but I guess I didn't. So I'm just using a Tarte Angled Brow Brush for this. We're making the brows really, really thick because this is obviously an ultra, very, extremely dramatic look. So I'm just putting an extra extra amount of brow product in my brows and just lining them out making them look really really thick really harsh so don't be scared i'm using the p louise base by p louise makeup and i'm going to kind of clean up my brow area first and then we're going to bring it down to the eyes as a base i like to use this as a you know two-in-one since it's a perfect shade to highlight my brow with and clean it up and then you know obviously it's a great shade for my eyelid as well. I have been loving this stuff lately. I'm sure you've seen it a million times over but it's just really really perfect really thin super fine for a dry eye too so yeah. Now using the Huda Beauty Rose Gold Palette Remastered. I'm taking Black Truffle and a liner brush and I'm going to start to outline a heart on the eye. So I actually saw a post on Pinterest, um, I'll put the picture up if I have it, that it was a girl and she had her a heart, uh, like a heart eye. It was just so cool the way it connected at the bottom and it was smoky and beautiful. So I really got inspired by the picture and decided to create this crazy clown card queen look. I don't even know what I'm going to call it yet. You'll probably see up top, obviously, what I came up with. But I'm going to really outline this first, and then we're going to do a diamond on the other eye. I didn't want everything to be super perfect. I kind of wanted it to be a little messy. That's usually how I work. I'm sure you guys have watched my past Halloween videos. I feel like every time I did a Halloween look, it wasn't super clean, which I'm totally fine with. I feel like it looks cool and messy and... You know, taking an E36 with Man Eater, I'm going to go around the heart and kind of smoke it out. This was really hard. I probably should have chose a different brush, but I didn't want it to be too heavy at first. I kind of wanted to build up on it. So I'm going around the heart, kind of smoking it out around the eye and just kind of building up on that color and then, you know, smoking out around the black, doing the same thing with the diamond. I wish I had angled this camera a little better for you guys to see, but you know, I'm just getting back into filming again and still gotta like figure my angles out, I guess. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. But I'm building up this color as you can see, and just you know, you're fine to be messy with it because look, I'm outlining it again. I'm just going to clean and I clean it with the P. Louise Beast again with a clean liner brush just to make sure that everything is the shape that I want it to be. And then I can, you know, black, you can always go over it over and over and over again. That's why I didn't use face paint because, and I do have like a brand new beautiful pack of face paint that's just sitting in my room. But I don't know, I just grabbed the palette because I've seen, I think Nicole Consillo used it on a Halloween look and I just like the smokiness of it. So I really want it to be that like effect. So starting with the face, I'm using CoverGirl True Blend Pore Minimizing primer. I love this primer. One of my fave drugstore ones. I'm going to use the Huda Beauty Faux Filter Foundation and I'm using the Morphe Jekyll Hill JH03 brush. I love this brush. Actually obsessed with the density and obviously I wanted to go a little bit lighter in foundation color than what I am right now and this shade is just a little bit lighter than my skin tone so it gives you like a ghostly effect. That's what I was going for. I like the whole, like, without the white face paint. I like the whole skin tone kind of deal. What do you guys think of that? Now connecting the heart with that black and bringing it down, like, almost like a teardrop. Doing it to the other side as well. Connecting that diamond and bringing it down as a teardrop-ish as well. Now I'm connecting it down to a clover. I wish I had gotten this a little bit better, but you guys, you know, wouldn't know what a clover looks like on a card. Literally, I had, like, the card pictures, like, right on my phone, so I could really try and recreate it as best as I can without being too, new, too, too neat. You know, I wanted it to be a little bit messy, as if, like, I'm a crazy person drawing on my face, 
You know what I mean? I just wanted it to have that like messy effect. So I'm just outlining a spade now and I'm making the line thick so that when I cover the insides, that's why I'm leaving everything blank because I'm covering the insides with glitter. So I'm kind of just outlining it pretty thick so that I have a nice space to work with with the glitter and you could still see, you know, the outline. I wanted to also blend this down with that Maneater color with the E36 and blend out that black and that red together. I kind of wanted it to look like it was cut into the face, but I didn't want to get into the blood and all of that kind of stuff because I still wanted it to look like shadow. I just like the way that that looked. Um, I could have totally made this more gory, but I feel like that's a little less glamorous than I wanted, <laughs> than I would have wanted to be. But it probably would have looked really cool. Um, like most of my Halloween videos, I really just sit, well, like most of my videos in general, I just sit down and play. Like, I started. I, like, messed up in the beginning and I had to re-record, re but, like, this is how I kind of film almost all my videos. I really just, like, get an idea in my head. I see a picture that I like. I get in some inspiration. I sit down and I just do it. So... For the beautiful glitter we are using today, I'm using Paradise Beef by Lemonhead. This is like my favorite glitter. And I'm using a E21 from Sigma just to kind of pack this in there. Kind of filling that heart and then going down to that little end of the heart and just kind of putting it all in those open spaces that I left. You could see that I kind of wanted it to just really fill so you could still see an outline and you know it looks it just looks I really 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 like the way this looks I hope you guys do too so I'm just filling in every space this is like the easiest glitter especially for Halloween or anything any kind of glitter look I feel like you don't need an adhesive you don't need anything extra you literally just dip your brush in and put it on your face and it is amazing so I'm just putting that in all of the blank areas, bringing it down to the spade now and filling all of that in. I'm also going to take this little Sigma concealer brush and I will let you know the name down below and just kind of blending everything out before I finish filling in the spade. Using the Bad Gal Bang Lash Mascara by Benefit, my favorite mascara right now, going to just put those lashes up in the air as much as I can. Conditioning them, baby. For lashes, I'm using Gigi Bell Lashes in Lexi. You guys can get 20% off with code SUBBY. These are my, one of my, I mean, they're all my favorite. I can't say like, but these are like my favorite dramatic ones besides Toots. And I'm working on more lashes, guys. I hope you guys have been, you know, subscribing to my emails so you guys can get exclusive updates. You know, the link's below. Subscribe if you haven't already to that mailing list so you guys can get exclusive coupons, deals, and all that jazz, and like updates on what I'm doing. Putting some mascara on the lower lashes. And then I'm going in with Motive's Poppy Passion Blush. And the JH04 brush from the, I think it's the Master set. From the Morphe Jaclyn Hill. And I'm going to start to put this all over my outer rim of my face. So kind of going down into the cheekbone area, going to the ears, trying to cover as much as I can. I wanted to use powder, you know, to go with that kind of powdery effect that I had going on on the eyes and on the cheeks area. I probably could have made the symbols a little bit bigger, but I honestly feel like it's comfortable enough for my face. Like at the, you know, kind of sizing that I decided with. I feel like it was kind of good shape for my face. So. You know, whatever you guys want to do, if you're recreating this, I would love to see that. I'm taking Mulholland Space Paste by Lemonhead as well and just kind of putting glitter in those areas that I covered with red. And just, you know, making this a more glamorous look. You know what I'm saying? So I'm just putting this on my cheekbones. But yeah, if you guys recreate this, I would freaking love to see it and love to see what you guys did. If you guys made any changes or anything, that would be so cool to see. So, yeah. Taking black truffle and an E40, I'm going in the outer rim of that red and going into my hairline and going into every crevice of my face, basically, on the outsides to try to make this a little bit more smoky, a little bit more dark, 
because we're going to try to turn into, I decided last minute we're going to turn into a mask. So it's going to look like a mask is on my face. So I'm just going to create that rim. I kind of wanted it to look bruised, so that's why I added more of the red in there. Um, and then I just started to go down with it because I wasn't crazy about just being a contour. I liked the way it turned into a mask. I thought that was like a pretty good way to make this look really, really creepy. So I'm going in with the E40, just smoking it out, bringing back that poppy passion and going on the jawline and up to the ears as well. Just trying to make that as pigmented and as opaque as possible without being like super thick and crazy. And I'm just going to smoke it out with the E40. Go on the other side and smoke that out as well. And just blend and play. And that's usually what I do. I take the took the blush brush and just blended everything out and just really, really kind of played with it. And I kind of wanted it to look bloody. I probably should have made it look more bloodier, but you know. If I did this like on Halloween, I'd probably make this a little bit more intense, I guess. But I feel like it's pretty intense the way it is. I don't know. What do you guys think? I'm going to take Artist Couture Double Take, the Diamond Glow Powder, and I'm using it. I forgot what this brush is. It's a Sigma blending brush. And I'm just going to put this on the highlight first, and then I'm also going to cover it all over where you could see my skin on the mask. So I want this to kind of glow, almost like a masquerade mask that you see in those like crazy parties. I kind of want it to glow and almost like kind of like a... Yeah, like I would say just a masquerade mask that has that weird, weird, like, white glow. So I'm putting this all over, over the cupid's bow, every piece of skin that you could see I'm putting it on. And then I'm going to just make a little nose. I'm going to start with that black. And I'm going to leave a little hole open so I can put some glitter on there. So I'm just going to draw a little, like, diamond nose. I was going to do a heart, but I was like, eh, why not just do the diamonds? almost like a skull nose but not as big and then I'm going around with that red the man-eater color and just smoking that out a little more darkening the inside and then I'm going in with paradise beef again and putting that on the little hole that I left there I wanted to obviously put a little in the corner highlight in there so I use the glitter for that and I put it on my brow bone as well and then I started kind of playing with it around the face as well and you guys can imagine how long it took for me to take all this glitter off. It took forever. I, I've been glittery for days. Not joking. It's kind of crazy. Using Max Night Moth Lip Pencil. This used to be my favorite lip liner for any fall colors. It still is, I guess. <laughs> I'm going to outline my lips and kind of fill them in. And then I'm using Kylie's Metal Lipstick in Dancer. This is from her holiday collection. And I'm going to just fill this in. I liked that I chose a metal. I feel like that was a fun find. I literally just looked through my drawer and found it. So that was a good find. Now I'm going to make a smiley, creepy joker smile effect with the Kat Von D tattoo liner. I'm just going to kind of go from my bottom lip up, following that line. And then following down the line of my top lip. So it looks like very joker creepy as hell with Tarte's ready set radiant spray and that is it you guys this is the look i hope you guys enjoyed watching me turn into this creepy ass clown queen of cards we're not sure what we're gonna call her yet but yeah i really really enjoyed this look i hope you did too if you did be sure to subscribe if you haven't already thumbs this video up it helps me a lot and also hit the notification bell because i'm not sure if you're you know, me, I'm popping up on your feed anymore because I haven't been on here in a while, but it helps to do that. So I love you guys so much. Let me know you want to see next, and I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.